new regional hospital for the Grey Bruce area. The Grey Bruce Regional Health Center. Now's the time for your financial support to be sure this new 401 bed hospital takes its place in the total health care needs of our area. The people of Gray and Bruce share in the public campaign raising $3 million. Provincial commitments, funding from local governments, and hospital reserve funds already provide $45 million. Now it's our turn to put it over the top. At the present General and Marine Hospital in Owen Sound, demand for regional levels of service is growing beyond available space. Layout and the design of these buildings is beginning to hinder the provision of advanced diagnostic equipment and health care procedures available in other centers. Over the years at the present Owen Sound Hospital, a level of specialty care has been evolving. Medical specialists here work closely with the local capabilities of a whole network of community and local hospitals in Gray and Bruce. The space here, at the present hospital, falls short of present-day provincial planning guidelines by 40%. Already there are specialty units, new equipment and procedures that will have to wait for construction of the new hospital. And looking toward our future, there'll be many more developments in health care services and facilities. Given the space and a new regional center, we'll be able to have the full, wide range of support procedures and care. More and more, we'll avoid those long trips away to centers further south. The new regional health center for Grey Bruce will be built at a total cost of $48 million. The province of Ontario has a commitment to pay two-thirds of that, $32 million. You know, that's one of the largest amounts being offered to a hospital project in the province. Commitments from local governments are now approaching $11 million, apportioned over a five-year period. Over the years, the Owen Sound General and Marine Hospital has accumulated reserve capital funds that provide $2 million. And now, the final effort to trigger the start of construction. Public fundraising with a goal of $3 million. The opportunity for individuals, groups, organizations, clubs and companies to participate directly. Public fundraising, the final push to get the project going. A new regional health center for Grey Bruce is a hospital that will belong to all of us, serve all of us, no matter where we live in Grey Bruce. In the present hospital, regional specialty capabilities provide a suggestion of the complete role to be played in the future. Critical patients are transferred to Owen Sound from community hospitals for specialty services. Referrals for surgery and diagnostic procedures are made here every day. At Owen Sound, there are 33 specialist medical practitioners. To back up local hospitals, wards have the extra treatment capabilities, along with specialists to provide care close by family and home. Patients come to Owen Sound for surgical or diagnostic tests, special x-ray and ultrasound equipment are important diagnostic tools. Laboratory services are used by other hospitals and doctors throughout the Grey Bruce area. A new large hospital for the Grey Bruce region of Ontario has a very special place in community service. Look where we fit in. First of all, in the province there are five cities with very specialized and extremely sophisticated facilities and programs. They're associated with medical schools at London, Hamilton, Toronto, Kingston and Ottawa. Then there's a group of 18 hospitals in the province. The new regional hospital in Owen Sound becomes one of them, each with 400 beds or more providing a secondary level of specialized service, a regional service. We stand alone with most of the other large regional hospitals spread along the southern extremes of the province. Here in Grey Bruce, the new regional hospital becomes part of a network, working in concert with local community hospitals for referrals and transfer. Lions Head and Wyerton, Southampton, Kincardine, Walkerton, Chesley, Hanover, Durham, Markdale, and Meaford. And of course, when that highest level of extremely specialized care is needed, beyond the Grey Bruce level, there is transfer to London, Hamilton, or Toronto, often using the ready response of air ambulance services. However, the important role of regional health care is now strained at the present General and Marine Hospital. Limitations in buildings, layout, and a cramped site. Space limitations that even now are beginning to stall installation of some new equipment. A new hospital? Suddenly, 
there is a serious accident or a sudden illness in a family. A hospital now means a great deal. Here's what it's like at the present Owen Sound Hospital. Because demand grows beyond available space, patients are sometimes in corridors. Patient rooms are cramped. Access with a stretcher or emergency equipment can be difficult. In the rooms, there's very little chance for privacy. There's storage of equipment or beds in hallways. Over the years in the present hospital, a hodgepodge of renovations, building additions, and further modifications in temporary buildings has now reached a limit. Corridors are often an uncomfortable mix of patients, medical and hospital staff, equipment, maintenance equipment, and visitors. Elevators are far short of requirements. One wing has a slightly different level than the other, a few stairs, and another real hindrance for access, and it puts even more pressure on already crowded elevators. Yes, space is just bordering on the impossible. The hospital's laboratory, from all over Gray and Bruce, samples come here. A temporary okay. building was put up five years ago. Now, some of that function has expanded into an old service area across an open laneway. This running back and forth goes through a patient blood testing area that's now jammed into this old corridor. Rehabilitation units, another important regional asset. Hallways and stairwells are in use by rehabilitation patients space shared with the regular flow of hospital traffic. A new regional hospital has been in the planning for years. Of a $48 million cost, it needs only the final push of our $3 million public subscription. The new hospital is a seven-level building. The third level is a good example of how interrelated functions of a modern hospital can be brought together. The third level, main surgery and operating theater, also has the intensive care unit, recovery rooms, labor and delivery rooms. In the same way, level two, the main floor, stresses ambulatory care. Emergency, x-ray, daycare, rehabilitation unit, physiotherapy, surgical suites. The regional health center is hard to envision, but these scenes in a recently built hospital of comparable size illustrate a new hospital. Patient rooms are spacious, with ample room for privacy and equipment access for treatment. Brightly lit corridors, lounge areas, a planned layout that integrates related functions. Surgical areas placed in direct relationship to supporting services and patient care areas. Operating rooms, modern and large enough to anticipate equipment needed for complex surgical procedures. Comfortable climate control and air conditioning throughout makes full use of energy efficiencies. At the Owen Sound Hospital, specialist capabilities have been evolving. Some interim renovations provide the present intensive care unit. It stands by and comes into play when patients in serious condition are transferred here. But again, space and the location in relation to operating rooms and emergency equipment will reach a limit. A pediatric ward is often called on for specialty referral from throughout Gray and Bruce. A children's ward in a new hospital will finally give space to provide easy access for parents and allow an unhindered bedside presence at all hours. The coronary care unit, it's now a five bed unit. In a new hospital, we can look forward to developing this unit to a size to look after increasing populations of older residents. This is a recently remodeled area for a day surgery. Patients come here for tests and exploratory procedures without being admitted to full around the clock hospital care. Minor procedures done in one day will more and more allow us to keep hospital care costs down. This is a growing service, day surgery, that can be fully utilized in the new hospital. We have a head start on a new hospital. Land is already set aside for the new Gray Bruce Regional Health Center. 66 acres at the southeast of Owen Sound, a short distance from highways 6, 10, and 26. The site of the former provincial hospital, the McKinnon Phillips. Part of the single-story building here has been renovated and will be incorporated in the new regional hospital. Here's a site with lots of space, room for parking, a broad vista overlooking rural Sydenham Township and the bay. The whole site was purchased a few years ago from the province for just one dollar. Now is the time to get started. 
provincial and municipal commitments of more than $42 million will not wait. Your support with a donation to the Gray Bruce Regional Health Center will bring it all together. A special foundation, the Gray Bruce Regional Health Center Foundation, has been established and it's administering your money donated to the new hospital construction. Chairman of the foundation is John Kirby. The foundation has now embarked on a public campaign to raise three million dollars. All donations are fully tax deductible. The donations may come from many sources, from individual donations, from pledges uh, over future years, from payroll deduction, bequests and wills, gifts from the business and corporate sector, gifts from service clubs and other organizations as well as from other areas. We are reaching out to all of you for your support. The public fundraising goal is three million dollars. This will be the completion of all of the financial arrangements required to make the new hospital a reality. The Gray Bruce Regional Health Center Foundation, a voluntary organization established to raise and administer funds for the new hospital. The chairman of the Hospital Board of Governors is Bruce Price. We're asking for your early response to our fundraising appeal. While the provincial government sees the construction of the new regional hospital as a top priority, they won't wait. There are other capital projects in Ontario competing for these funds. For staff and volunteers working in the existing facility, it is often frustrating and does not make the best use of their skills and training. We also have physicians with a wide range of specialties, and any delay could cause a lack of enthusiasm and possible moves away from the area. But above all, construction of the new regional hospital sets the stage for us to continue into the future providing high levels of quality patient care and support services. Your donation is the last step. Only then can we begin construction. Together, we make it happen. A gift gives us room to heal. A community that cares, cares to share in building the new Gray Bruce Regional Health Center. A new 401 bed hospital taking its place in providing for our future in the Gray Bruce region of Ontario.